Oh, Music Man from his man cave. I just got a shocker the other day. I was watching a documentary, and you're going to want to see this documentary. Um, it's called Reversal of Fortunes. Uh, Reversal of Fortunes, something like that. It stars this guy named Ted. So here's the scenario. They set up where he gets $100,000 because he's a homeless guy that lives under a bridge. This was set up by Oprah Winfrey. And they believed that with $100,000 and a hand up, that this guy would get a job, become a normal citizen. Let's talk about the results of this experiment, social experiment, reversal of fortunes, and Ted. Coming at you right now. I remember when I lived in a town, and there was this guy that walked around with all kinds of stuff hanging on him, and they called him the Christmas tree man or something like that. And I, I, he was a mystery to me. Uh, they said he lived in a, it was a very cold town, so, and he lived out of a car. And he had the car stacked full of uh, all kinds of, um, of stuff. And so uh, he just wandered around town, and he, there he was, and walking around town. And uh, surprise, surprise, when he died, it, it was found out that he had a lot of money saved away. So why did he live the way that he did? Either he's mentally ill or he liked it. So this guy Ted we're talking about, they actually did an evaluation, a mental evaluation on him. He's just as normal as you and I. Of course, he has a sob story about how his parents abused him and destroyed his life and how his mom is a prostitute and his dad was no good and so forth. Well, anyway... Uh, they set up a scenario where he found $100,000 in a briefcase in uh, a garbage can. When he found the money, what do you think is the first thing that he did? Well, he didn't even clean up. He went into a motel, and he hired some hookers, and had lots of booze around. Now, when his family heard about his good fortune, of course, they wanted him to come home, because they were concerned all of a sudden about his welfare. Well, anyway, he had friends and such that he bought extravagant gifts for. And uh, within just a short while, uh, believe it or not, the social experiment shocked and amazed even Oprah Winfrey that the man ended up, within six months, he was, he was back under the bridge and very happy with his circumstance in life and very upset and put out with the people that had given him the money. You see, people do not appreciate something that they don't earn. This is something hard for the liberal left to understand. You build someone a house and hand them the keys to it, they're going to trash that house or burn it down or not even live in it or bring in a bunch of cats and dogs or who knows what they're going to do to the house. They're going to destroy the house. Why? They have nothing invested. Okay, this Ted, he went through that money in quick order buying cars and stuff because he thought $100,000 was a lot of money. And my wife and I will tell you it's not. Looks can be deceiving. My wife and I make a good income, but we don't, uh, like uh, guys like Ted, they have a lot of safety nets for guys like Ted. Believe me, he has an Obama phone. Believe me, he gets Social Security. And he gets food stamps. And he gets all those things that he needs. Um, and why does he live the way he does? Because he chooses to. This should be a lesson to you. To just walk up and hand someone $100,000 is not beneficial to them. The best thing that you can do is donate money to a charity or a homeless shelter or a rescue mission who know how to deal with people like this on cold days and such that are mentally ill or that like the lifestyle of being homeless. You're not doing them any favors by being an enabler. So... There's a lot of things. It was a shocking ending. Ted's back under the bridge. He's broke again. He didn't buy a house. His financial planner tried to give him advice, and he said, you can't tell me what to do. Ripped up the financial planner's card in front of him and threw it in the trash. By the way, look it up on Wikipedia. It's called a rever reversal of fortune. You'll be shocked. You'll be stunned. and It'll make you think, before you just go handing out money and building homes for people because they may not even appreciate it. In fact, they may resent you after it. 
Um, some, and, and it's really sad because there are some people that are in genuine need. But there's people that are more qualified than I am to be able to discern who really has the need and who does not. Anyway, just some something to think about, something to watch, an eye-opener for you. If you want to do them a favor, feed them a meal. If you want to do them a favor, if it's a cold night, give them a ride to somewhere warm. Handing them a bunch of money, waste of time. Take care.